Hi there, and welcome to our end user litigation database training. Uh, so we're going to start with just the differences between litigation and discovery. Many of you may be more familiar with our discovery databases. And so litigation looks just a little bit different and navigating it is just a little bit different. Um, as you can see, the header screen looks slightly different. If I switch back over to a uh, discovery database, you can see you have your analytics review data, user settings and share tabs at the top. Uh, when I switch to my litigation database, I don't have analytics anymore. Um, my review tab looks like documents, and then I have sections for deponents and proceedings. And then the rest of my stuff is here under more. And so you can still navigate, you still have file room and everything else under more, but you have to go uh, through that more tab to get to your settings and different things like that. Now, the reason that litigation looks different than discovery is because right now you're narrowing your focus, um, getting ready for that litigation, you're going to be looking at only specific sets of documents. Um, many of them are related to your deponents um, or that have shown up in your proceedings and different things like that. And so um, this is going to be a much more focused review and focused searching on those things. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and jump right into our deponents tab. Um, and here you can see you have various deponents uh, listed here. Um, if there are tr uh, multiple transcripts for a deponent, they will show up here as hot links and just a series of hot links. Um, if you have a lot of deponents, you can actually go ahead and, and search for them up here. But before I do that, um, let me just go over these icons here. And so if you want to download a transcript, you can go ahead and click this button. It'll download that transcript. This will tell you if there are documents linked to that transcript. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But it really just means that um, you have exhibits that um, are referenced in the transcript that are linked there. So um, you can view those, uh, those documents as you're reviewing the transcript. This one has eight of those, this one has two, and you can see those here. And then if you have this little symbol next to your deposition transcript, you can see that um, there is a video linked to this. And so you can click to this, open it in theater, watch that video of the transcript, um, or go into the transcript, review it. Um, and I'll show you how to actually do both of those if you have a linked video. And then finally, you have these little colored dots next to the transcript, and um, these are just your designations. And so you can see here by mousing over it, I see that the red ones are defense initial um, designations. The light blue ones are plaintiff initial, and then the purple ones are plaintiff counter. And as I can see here, again, defense initial for that red one. Uh, that just means that those designations are present on that transcript. And as you continue to add designations, those dots will appear um, just to show that they exist on those. Uh, like I said before, it's possible that you have a long list of deponents and there might be multiple pages here. So rather than having to go through and finding those deponents, you can also run a search for that. So if I search for deponent Morgan, I can just isolate that very quickly um, without having to search around for it. And it shows up here. And you'll also have uh, a little bit of the, the metadata that goes along with those um, those transcripts uh, and, and I'll talk about that in a little bit but if I go into the transcript itself um, you can see that you have your lines the lines are numbered um, just looks like uh, a deposition transcript uh, you can click to move to the pa different pages by clicking the, the side arrows there you can go back with this one you can also jump to a specific page if you know what that is uh, there by clicking jump to that page um, and then you also have um, some side tabs that I'll get to in a few minutes.